Oscar II. A former occultic Grand Master testifies. I was an Illuminati and a Grand Master in the Rose Croix and was a higher ranking Satanist, the fifth Satanist in Ivory Coast. The purpose of this testimony is to show you how the devil works. And to give you Bible passage of the Word of God that is the only weapon that can give you victory against the enemy and his army. Beside the Bible, there is no greater weapon. The situation is grave for the devil. There's no time left for him. He told us to work with twice. The speed of human. Beloved, the beast is already here on the earth. The Antichrist is alive and he is here, he is precisely residing beneath the Vatican Basilica. I have a message and knowledge to reveal to Christians. In the dark world, we knew that. Christians are the ones with superior power, they are the ones that are capable of stopping the devil and his army. Satan has the visible army of witches and Satanists, and occultists. He has the invisible army made up of angels and demons. I want to share and reveal how the devil attacks and we can even destroy God's children. God's children are ignorant of their power. A man of God alone can block and cancel all the witches Satanists, including mystics in the city. Initiation and Journey to the Astral World Welcome, brother. I am Oscar from a village in the Ivory Coast. I was the fifth Satanist in the country. I was the Prime Minister of Witches in Africa, and I was married to the Queen of the Coast. My story happened in a village outside the capital of the Ivory Coast. One day in the night while I was sleeping in the village, I began to feel a strange presence and I heard voices. And when I opened my eyes, I saw the wall of my room moving as if it had become flexible. To my surprise, I saw the wall of my room bending in two. In fact, the wall opened up and when I looked beyond the wall, I saw another world and falling before my eyes. It seems like a bush. I saw that it was daylight in this new world that was before me yet it was the night in our world. Then I saw men, women and children entering my room. They were wearing masks. I was scared and I began to cry. Since I was a child, one of these witches carried me on the back. And we entered the new world of witches, where I joined the Brotherhood of Witchcraft. In the astral world of witches, there are cars, trains, planes, and infrastructure. God's children in Africa must learn to destroy the transport system and infrastructure of witches. All around them, you must learn to destroy the communication system of witches. The witches have installed radars everywhere in order to monitor the world and God's people in every street and buildings they are radars of witches. There are central radars of city and country showing all the people and all God's children. When I got in witchcraft, I was just a child. I was supposed to obey. When we arrived in the astral world. I saw that we were in a meeting where others were debating how to spread witchcraft so that they will become numerous. The ruler of this brotherhood was dressed in a black coat and sat on the throne and he was giving orders. They told me when people asked, you will not talk about this experience. You will just tell them you had a bad dream. Brother, when your child is crying in the night you must engage a conversation and make sure that he tells you everything, for it was on that day that I contracted witchcraft. And I began to hear strange voices. And I always felt that I was walking with people. In the night I felt like I was separating in two. In truth, I was in subconscious witchcraft. Initiation to active witchcraft and cartoon. My parents then took me to the second city of Ivory Coast. Back then my father was not converted. But my mother was already saved. She began to take me to Sunday school. One day we were taught. In Sunday school that we can ask the Lord whatever we want. At that time, I used to watch. Cartoons such as the Justice League, Garg Amel, and his cat Azrael. We must remember that generally angelic names finished with L like Michael Gabriel the Cartoon character Garg Amel and his cat Azrael had names of fallen angels which end with L. 
the mystics took these names from demons to make cartoon characters and children watching. These cartoons are possessed by demons. The purpose of cartoons is to cause hardhead and rebellion in children and demonic possession. It is filled with demons. Cartoon characters such as Eric Cartman is a demon. He is a violent demon. Spider-Man is a demon. Superman is a demon. Christian parents are leaving their children to watch these demonic cartoons. My mother was a member of the Assembly of God. While she was tagging me to church, I was asking God to give me the power of a Justice League like Superman, so that I will help people in difficulty yet Superman was a demon. Since I was doing this prayer at the age of nine, a demonic spirit came to me in a night. The spirit told me, you have been asking for my power in prayer to help people in difficulty. Like superhero. I have brought to you the power of a superhero. Brother, on that day in the night, I signed a pact with this unclean spirit. And at the age of nine, I became aware of the power that was invested upon me. Quickly, I became an active witch. Performing spiritual activities in the spirit world. How I became the Prime Minister of African Witches. One day, I was flying in space above the continent of Africa. It was deep in the night. And when I reached the south end of the continent, I saw a group of people assembled deep in the night. I was curious, therefore, I landed in their midst to check what was happening. When I got there, I was informed that this was the competition and contest of the strongest witch in Africa. It was a tournament of power in order to determine the strongest for the world of Satan is about test of power, and the strongest dominate the weakest. I was told you are free to join the contest and tournament of power if you are strong. When the fight for power and supremacy began between these witches, there was thunder, explosion, and lightning in the air, when suddenly I saw all the people collapsing on the ground. Quickly I saw an old man with wings landing in the lightning that was flashing. He told me, you are the second strongest witch in Africa. But from today you become the strongest. You will. Travel to the North Africa desert in order to be crowned as the representative of all the witches. When we traveled to the desert for the crowning ceremony, I saw that there were an advanced kingdom, civilization, and cities in the desert of North Africa. This place that is a desert in the map is the location of the unseen and advanced kingdom of Satan. It is where the witches of Africa gather for there are great spiritual cities in this desert. When I got into this kingdom, I was given a crown and a staff of command. Many God's children don't make use of the staff of command and authority yet the Bible says. I have given you every place where the sole of your foot will tread just as I promised to. Moses. Joshua 1 3. On that day, I received my mantle as the Prime Minister of Witchcraft in Africa. After my enthronement, there was a party where witches from all the continents meet and they drank wine, which was human meat and blood. After eating and drinking, they went to relax and play football. This was an advanced and spiritual civilization in the desert of North Africa. But the ball in this football game was a human head. The victim was alive but he was suffering migraines when people were playing football with his head. While people were playing football over there were playing tam-tam gong or drum, which was the belly of a man on the earth. He was suffering in his belly. After this party, I went back home and my power increased. My entry to the Rosicrucian order. In the occult, I wanted power and I wanted it fast. As a result, a friend of mine brought me a satanic book for his father was in the Rosicrucian order. I began to read the book in order to learn this occult. Science and I was practicing all the instruction in the book. Since this book of Rosicrucian was elementary, I went on to research the leader of this section. I found out that he was a Frenchman in the name of Christian Bernard and he was living in France. This country was the holder of the secret of Rosicrucian. 
I found out that Italy was the holder of the key to Freemasonry. England is the holder of the Black Knights. The root of the Rosicrucianism and Freemasonry is ancient Egypt. While I was gravitating to evil in the occult, my parents who were Christians were unaware of my evil activity. Today, most Christians are blind and they don't see and they don't know the spiritual state of their own children. They are blind and they don't have discernment. They don't even ask the Lord. When I found out about the leader of Rosicrucianism, quickly, I began to do incantation in order to summon demons so that I would enter in contact with this man. I was fearless and I wanted more power. I was doing magic prayer, then suddenly the spirit of Christian Bernard the leader of the French Rosicrucianism appeared, and he landed in my room. And when he appeared, he laid his hand upon my head and he transmitted me satanic anointing. And in one night I reached the highest level of Rosicrucianism, which was the twelfth level. Because my level increased in the spirit world, I became more powerful and more dangerous. Diabolic power was running a lot in my body. I want to warn you, God's people that a lot of churches and men of God in Ivory Coast have started well, but they are now in Rosicrucianism and Freemasonry. I know all the big churches of Ivory Coast in detail. They started with God but in the end, they joined the enemy. I will tell you the names of these pastors that are great mystics in the Ivory Coast. It is because of these satanic pastors that the war erupted in Ivory Coast. I know these pastors because I also signed on the book of the devil in order to authorize this war. Many people are going after men of God but these men are in occultism. They sold themselves to the devil. Instead of going from one church to another, you must learn to read the Bible and pray at home. And develop a relationship with the Spirit of God. After reaching the highest power of Rosicrucianism I continue to seek knowledge and power. My activity in the Catholic magic. Brother, I knew the Roman Catholic Church in the spirit world. I mean, I was a member of Roman. Catholic magic. I have worked with books like The Prayer of Saint Charlemagne who was a man of. War, but somehow they turned him to a saint. I was using candles and incense and used them in order to invoke the spirit. In the past, many evangelical churches were winning Catholic believers. And people came to discover the truth about the cult of Mary and the worship of idols. When the devil saw that the evangelicals were winning all the Catholic believers, he summoned an emergency meeting in the spirit world in order to counter the evangelicals that were winning Catholic believers. I was not present in that meeting as I did not have time to attend but my colleague informed me about the resolution that was taken in that meeting. In fact, they decided to copy and adapt evangelical practice in order to keep people in the Catholic Church. The devil came up with the idea of charismatic renewal, which include the practice of speaking in an unknown tongues, prophesying and deliverance. In this meeting, the devil assigned an angel of light to lead and guide this movement of charismatic renewal. The angel of light of Satan is the one who caused people in the charismatic renewal, to speak in tongues, to prophesy and to have vision. The angel of Satan in the name of Tobit is the one imitating the gift and manifestation of the Holy Spirit in the charismatic movement in the Catholic Church. The purpose of this renewal was to stop and counter the evangelicals, but there is no Holy Spirit. It is the angel of light of Lucifer Tobit. My meeting with the sun god of Egypt. Later I went to sign a pact with the gods of Egypt, the sun god. We used to call her the queen. In order to travel to the sun, we were doing a concentration in prayer, and we were performing an astral journey to the pyramid. And from the pyramid, we were rising towards the sun. And when the sun rays enter our astral body, we were able to enter the sun where we were received by the sun. God. I was received by the queen and I signed a covenant with her. In this ceremony, I sat on a golden throne, and the queen who had seven powers gave me four of her seven powers. 
Then she summoned a tiger. The beast came walking around my throne and entered in me. As a result, I became half man, half tiger. I was covered in tiger skin, but no one could see it. When traveling in space, I became quicker in the air and on the earth. When traveling in space, one step was equal to 40 and 50 kilometers. The earth became a little for me, as each step of my feet was many kilometers. My activity in Islamic magic. Brother, when I joined the Islamic religion, I came across a verse in the Quran that mentioned a spirit in the name of the Lord Mighty. I was told I had to be a senior in order to summon him. I was told when he showed up he is so big that his upper part extends to the sky, but his lower part is hidden. He is the most powerful spirit in Islam. This is actually the demon that is worshipped by Muslims in the name of Allah. He has 100 names. He is also called Diang. Brother, the demon Allah is a fallen angel residing in the moon. His hidden names that Muslims don't know is Diang. I repeat Allah is the name of an angel of Satan that resides in the moon. His name in French means Luna. The Lucifer White House and Bank of Blood beneath the Bermuda Triangle was attending a convention of Satanists beneath the ocean in the place called the Bermuda Triangle, where there is a bank of blood of Satan. Beneath this location in the ocean, there is Lucifer White House, the headquarter of Satan. In this part of the ocean, there is a prison of fallen angels that are incarcerated. These rebel angels will be liberated in their time to cause chaos in the Great Tribulation. In this point of the ocean called the Bermuda Triangles, demons capture boats and planes and these forces are dangerous. I was attending meeting and summit of Satan in this place beneath the Bermuda Triangle where the devil was unveiling strategy against the Church of Jesus in the human world. Today, many churches are invaded by demons in flesh. Many pastors are married to women who are physical demons. At the end of time, the devil has deployed all category of demons such as the Avatar, who are false humans. They are born from the union of men and mermaid, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. The devil has also deployed the Highlanders, who are a class of demons fighting for powers among themselves. The devil is also deploying the dwarves who are human victims of blood sacrifice. When they died, they were enrolled in the army of darkness and they began to function like demons. In a meeting in the White House beneath the Bermuda Triangle, the devil said to the Satanists, You must stop God's children from fasting and praying for when they fast their spirit expand, their development become great. Fasting and prayer is the food of the soul and the spirit. Fasting and prayer cause the growth and development of the spirit of God's children. It causes the spirit of God's children to grow in size and in proportion. Brother, when we fast we grow in spirit. However, when we purify ourselves and when we dedicate ourselves in prayer, our souls still maintain the same size but it becomes radiant and brightening. It is our spirit that expands and develops beyond the normal size of a human. God's children develop and grow in height and width when they fast. Prayer is an act of war against the world of Satan. Whenever God's children pray they become fiery, and whenever God's people pray the fire comes down from heaven abundant and when fire descended cause thunder, bombardment and explosion in the second heaven and the first heaven. We were battling to stop Christians from fasting and praying. We were causing God's children to be walking around the city for nothing. And this was cancelling their fasting. Brother, a child of God and must pray for at least three hours a day, one hour in the morning, one hour in the midday and one hour in the night. However, when you want to be used by God, you must pray at least seven hours a day. After three months you will be in another dimension. The more you pray, the more fire is descending from heaven. The more you pray, the more fire causing bombardment. Whenever you pray, 
the spirit world comes under attack. You must use the scripture when you pray. The prayer in tongues gives a problem for the devil and the satanic world for they cannot understand it. And when you pray in tongues, there is a tunnel to the third heaven thanks to your prayers. We were fighting prayer in tongues. I was a leader of witches. One day I was informed about a woman that was prayerful. I was told by witches, we have tried to attack the woman but we failed. She always prays and she is dedicated. She is causing trouble in the neighborhood with her prayer that is causing bombardment and fire. I said to the brotherhood, leave it to me. I will deal with her. When I took the case I began to study the Christian lady. First and foremost, I checked her clothing and adornment. I wanted to know whether she is using makeup and I saw that she was not in makeup. I tried to contact the Queen Jacqueline of the toilet. Given that the woman was prayerful, the Queen was not in her toilet anymore. I saw that when this woman was walking in the street, she was doing silent prayer in her heart and fire was bubbling around her. When she was working in the office she was working and praying in her heart. Silent prayer was a way of life for her. She prays for her house and her husband. When I went to her house to get something to enchant it, but there was fire covering all items in the house. When I tried to touch her pagan husband I saw that he was in a fire. Whenever Christian prays, there are damages and destruction in the spirit world. The prayer of God's child rise in the air like a bowl of fire, and the more you pray the angel of God will engage battle in your favor. The devil actually resorted to his 24 elders for war in space for the devil has 24 elders, 7 spirits, and 4 living beings. He has copied what he has left in heaven. His 24 elders are dressed in black. And they have crowns. We were ordered to stop God's children from fasting and praying for their spirit grow and develop. Beyond human proportion in the unseen world. We were beneath the ocean and Lucifer White House. When the devil said to the audience, you must stop God's children from reading the Bible. Brother, I was in a perpetual war with God's children. I was monitoring them. Whenever a Christian opened the Bible in order to read, I was showing up for they were paranormal phenomena. In fact, as soon as the Christian began to read the first letter of the Bible passage at that moment, a flaming Sword was coming down from the third heaven and the flaming sword was moving in circles around the Christian above his head with speed. The sword of light and fire was turning around a believer in great speed. And the more the Christian read the Bible, the light and fire of the sword was getting strong and was removing impurity, sin and filthiness in the life of the believer. This is a work of Purification for the meditation of the Bible purifies God's children. The second role of the sword of heaven is to increase the spiritual strength of the believer. Those who read the word of God their spiritual strength increase. The sword of heaven. Neutralize bondage that we put on God's children. Brother, whenever this sword of fire descended from heaven, I was showing up at a relative distance in order to see. I always stood at a distance of 100 or 120 meters depending on the speed of the sword for fear of being struck down by the heavenly sword. I often shot arrow against this sword but the arrow were returning to me. Whenever God's children were reading the Bible I was often blowing air to cause them to have thought about other things in their mind while reading the Bible. You cannot be reading the book of life and be thinking about your friends, project and money. This was what I was doing. Whenever God's children were reading the Bible, I was able to get in their phone contact and select a contact that will give them a call in order to disrupt their meditation. There are those who get restless when they read the Bible because I was blowing air of enchantment on them. I was also sending visitors to interrupt them. In some cases, I was erupting noise of children or people around them in order to stop them. Brother, whenever you have many thoughts when you are reading the Bible, it is an attack. When a 
Believer comes to church but he does not know how to read the Bible. When he goes back home he will be thinking about the preaching he heard in the church. As soon as he began to ponder about the preaching he heard in the church, the sword of third heaven was descending to purify him and to increase his spiritual strength. I was always attracted by the arrival of the sword of heaven, and I was trying to blow thoughts of distractions so that the sword of heaven will go back to the heaven. People who can't read the Bible because they don't know to read, they pray so that what they heard will be imparted in them. This prayer happened exactly the way they requested. Brother, if you can read the Bible, but you don't have a Bible, you are living in sin. And we were sending a spirit of scorn in you so that you may think that it does not matter whether you have the Bible or not. The Bible has 66 books like the 66 chapters of Isaiah which talks about the Old and New Testament. It is written, and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of his prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. Rev 2219. There are ten books added in the Catholic Bible and the Orthodox Bible. These cancel the scripture. Basically in the spirit world, the King James Bible and other Bibles shine with brightening white light. However, the New Jerusalem Bible and the Orthodox Bible shine with red light in fact, every property of the devil shine with red light in the spirit world. I want to warn God's children that the Catholic Bible and the Orthodox Bible are satanic. When you look at King James Bible and other I mean, when you look at the Bible with a vision of a spirit, you will notice that it is a living organism. The Bible is alive and you will notice that it is like vibrating and breathing. However, when you look at the Catholic Bible and the Orthodox Bible, you will notice that they are not living, vibrating and breathing. They are dead, they don't give life and instead of brightening white light, they are emitting red light for they are the property of the devil. Brother, I reached a level in mysticism where I was working with the ten angels of light of Satan. Such as the angel Maccabees, the angel Sirach, the angel Lester, Daniel, Barak, and others. Brother, Bible reading is the cornerstone of Christian life. I would like to inform you gods. Children that the New Testament of the Gideon group is tricked. I want to inform God's children that the Gideon group is infiltrated by occultists and Satanists. I mean that the cover of New Testament of Gideon group is designed in the Marine Kingdom. I was traveling to the Marine Kingdom and I was the 16th husband of the Queen of the Coast. And I used to see pastors in the Marine Kingdom receiving teaching. The Gideon group is compromised, as the blue cover of the New Testament is being designed by the enemy. Even if you pray ten hours a day, if you have the Gideon New Testament in your home, it is an open door. We can enter your home through the red light emitted by the New Testament. Even an angel cannot close that gateway. You can see as I am brushing the back of the cover of the New Testament, there are inverse writing that is satanic for the Marine Kingdom is making Bibles and Bible covers. Let us be careful about the many Bibles having red covers. We were designing them with human blood. I want to tell you Christians that we are in a war. We often come under attack and when we are attacked and surrounded by the enemy, we must learn to recite and read the scripture with a loud voice. The mystery I am trying to reveal to God's children is this when you are in battle, the reading and Reciting of Psalms and Bible passages cause the angels of the Lord to descend right in the middle of your battle. Brother, there were Bible passages that are dreaded by the army of the devil. When I was working for Satan, I made sure that Christians remain ignorant of this mystery. There are Bible passages and Psalms that cause immediate deployment of angels in the lives of God's children. When they recite these Psalms and many Bible verses, they summon the angels of heaven. In spiritual battle I have seen battalion and regiment of soldiers angels descending from heaven whenever God's children were reciting Bible passage. They are psalms and passage of the scripture that are connected to the angelic ministry. Brother, 
the army of the devil is afraid of God's children reciting psalms and Bible passages in their houses. Indeed, many psalms and Bible passages cause the angels of war to descend. When God's children recite these passages and psalms in times of conflict and adversity, the host of the army of heaven descend. There is angelic deployment behind many Bible passage. They act upon the passage when you recite them. Prayer with God's word is so powerful. Whenever you recite Psalm 24, lift up your heads, O you gates, be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, he is the King of glory. When you recite this passage, there is a number of angels that descend. I never knew how many of them. Nevertheless, a group of angels will descend to wherever this Bible verse is quoted. In this eternal war, there are three strategic times of the day for prayer. In the dark world, we were told not to let Christian pray in these strategic times of the day, which is dawn, midday, and six in the evening. There are God angels descend in the morning to bring God's children the answer. And there are power deployed by the devil to stop God's children from receiving. I would like to give God's children some that you can recite in the morning. They destroy whatever plot and conspiracy that the enemy has resulted in the night. This Bible passage neutralizes whatever enemy has planned for your life in the night and cause God angels to come down and neutralize the plan and snare of the enemy. In Psalm 57, the Bible says, Let your glory be over all the earth. They set a net for my steps. My soul was bowed down, they dug a pit in my way, but they have fallen into it themselves. When you recite these three psalms, the angels that follow these words of God will come down and cancel everything. You can read Psalm 35 at midday for the devil don't like it. For the soldier angel that is connected to this psalm is powerful, robust, and dangerous. At midday, every day demons leave the sun and they cause sicknesses and migraines. I admit our demons who caused these sicknesses and migraine. Dark forces are really strong at that time of the day. They work for the queen of the south called Jehoshaphat. The Bhagavad Gita Krishna is the personification of the sun god. When you recite Psalm 35 at midday the angel come down and disrupt their activity. However, you must make sure that you are holy in this war. You can recite Psalm 24, which is also dangerous. In the night before you sleep, you can read Psalm 99. There is another Psalm which is 29, which is very dangerous for the second heaven and the angel warrior who come down. When you recite Psalm 29 which is called the voice of God for when he came down he will cause a war that causes demons to be scattered in the second heaven and they open the passage. The Bible has all the solutions to all the problems on the earth. In the Bible, there are nine spiritual gifts and nine fruits of the Spirit. Each gift of the Spirit is connected to a fruit of the Spirit. There are Bible passages when you recite them, they open the spiritual gift. We were fighting so that men of God would not have a gift of vision and discernment. Point six in the evening is called the hour of landing for it is the sunset. Every day at 6 p.m., all the gateway to the world of Satan opened up. All the satanic agents travel at 6 p.m. They would begin to fill their planes and cars with oil, and at half past 11, they will be arriving in the world of Satan. Midnight is the intensity of the dark activity. These are strategic times we were to stop believers. Bringing in this time. In the White House beneath the ocean the devil was also telling us to stop God's people from. Giving tithes. When you resolve in a moment to give God we were coming to you so that you can. Be changing our mind.